in a world where bland carts ruled. One woman had the courage to take you from bland to brilliant. With games like Little Big Planet giving players the ability to individually customize and create new and detailed worlds to play in and share online, it was only a matter of time before Sony decided to apply this idea to another genre of gaming. Racing has been with us from the dawn of time, and for millennia the concept of racing stayed the same. But in 1931, entrepreneur Marcus Ramsey's Callahan had an idea that would change racing forever. Well, United Front have stepped up with the same twist on kart racing and come up with Mod Nation races. Yes, think Mario Kart meets a little big planet. It's got all the elements that we know and love about a great kart racing game, but then an added layer of these insanely addictive customization options that will inspire even the most uninventive players with the creative genius of Picasso. Your options seem limitless, and if you're into customization and creativity, then you'll have a field day here. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I love a good kart racer at the best of times, but Mario's classic formula was so great that it's hard to turn out a game to rival its gameplay. But here, you have the freedom to customize everything, from the kart you race in, to the tracks you race on, and your driver. Yes, you can go with a traditional theme or completely run amok and create the most insane looking character you can, like my weird one eye Cyclops guy. What did you end up with? Oh, my favourite so far is Hex Bunny. <laughs> Underpants on the outside. Right, well, you start with over 50 skins to choose from, from the abstract to the fabric inspired. There are hundreds of mouths, noses, eyes, props, clothing items, helmets and stickers to truly make your racer an individual. With even more to unlock in the career mode, or you can just hit random and see what the great gaming god of randomization serves up on a plate for you. Who's your favorite uncle? I am. Because I'm gonna make you rich, like me, Uncle Richard. The career has a pretty basic story to dust off your racing skills, but mostly you'll just be playing this for the unlocks. I need that pirate ship steering wheel, Bajo. <laughs> As you progress through, you can keep switching up your racers and drivers. I found it nearly impossible to stay with the same car for long when there were so many customizations to try. Car customization delivers a variety of bases, skins, and detailing. I ended up with this sweet cardboard box mobile. Totally pimp. You do have a budget with car creation, though, so you can't go too crazy too quickly. I think I probably spent the most time on the track creator. It's sort of reminiscent of the early stages of a city builder, sculpting the terrain with peaks, valleys and rivers, craters and mountains. Then you go about laying a track with the exciting prospect in mind that all these twists, turns and hills you create will be yours to race on when you've finished. You can individually populate the track with singular buildings and details, or you can also auto-populate to speed things along. It was great how simple the interface was. You don't have to sit through heaps and heaps of tutorials, you can just jump in and start making tracks. Of course, if you want to make something seriously impressive, you will need to spend the time like any sort of user-generated content creation tool. But the payoff is so sweet when you get to race on it at the end. Now we're playing this ahead of launch, so we can't test out any of the online features, but you'll be able to upload your own creations and also use a rating system to filter through the rubbish. I found that the tracks available to you for customization seem pretty standard though. You know, with all the crazy skins available to you in cart and driver customization, you know, I really want to make some rolling candy pink hills or a futuristic Blade Runner styled level, but it was all just seaside and country terrain, really, pretty straightforward. Yes, I can't wait to see those creations online, and mainly because I think that this type of level building is better suited to a kart racing game as opposed to something like Little Big Planet, which was really hard and time consuming to build anything worthwhile. Yeah, I mean, it's a totally different approach. It's simpler and less about creating puzzles and more about fun, great-looking tracks. There's also a central online area where you can drive around with other players and challenge them to races, otherwise just hang at home with friends for some good old-fashioned split-screen action. The actual racing itself is a standard kart racing fair. You can drift, boost, collect items to take out other players. However, items in Mod Nation are stackable, so if you can hold onto an item for long enough to grab another item bubble, you can upgrade it to something more damaging, like a lightning bolt. The carts handle well too and the controls are really smooth, but let's wrap this up, Hex. I like that they've stayed true to the kart racing formula that works, because of course the originality in this game is in the customising. I can see it being a real hit with families who love to game together. I, I had a ball budget, I'm giving it nine. I love a game that lets me get creative in the most ridiculous of ways. I'm gonna give it nine too. The winner of the tour will earn a parts package sponsored by the Chickenator. Cock-a-doodle-doom.